UGA's Small Satellite Research Lab has come a long way since its founding. In less than a year, we have already been selected as one of 33 universities in the University Nanosat program. So this bottom satellite is an exploded view of the satellite that we are currently building for UGA. We are partnered with the Air Force to do this. One of the biggest challenges is um, we have, we know what we need to do, but we don't have the resources to do those things. While we have made great strides, we still have a lot of work to do. Testing equipment at the UGA Small Sat Research Laboratory um, is a very critical need. With our CubeSats, there's different testing methods, uh, testing magnetic fields, testing our attitude determination, the way the CubeSat is oriented. And right now, there aren't any really good methods of doing that at UGA. In order to have successful CubeSat missions from the University of Georgia, we really need to have these critical testing mechanisms. Space is hard and spacecraft development is a full-time job. And unfortunately, we don't have enough funding to establish the permanent lab that we want here at UGA. And that's where we could use your help. We need NASA-rated testing equipment for our satellite development and testing process. We need your help building a space-rated ground station at UGA. Just because this is a student-led project, a lot of the things, uh, we have to figure out a lot of what we need to do, and um, that's a, not only a challenging um, task, but also a rewarding task. It's so great having a lab space of our own to be able to, to formulate, to design, and to actually build components. It's really exciting to watch everybody just come in and do their thing and actually get a lot of work done. It's difficult to get involved with astronomy research that isn't theoretical, and this is an actual application of something relating to astronomy, and that's very rare, especially here. There's nothing else really like this. We are going through rapid prototyping processes, and the lack of resources that we have really um, mitigates our rapid prototyping, and so by having 3D printers or other available resources in the lab would really help us to get the rapid prototyping and make the UGA Small Sat uh, Research Laboratory, one of the best in the nation. Thank you for your support of the UGA Small Satellite Research Lab.